Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. So this is a timeless reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the message, it's when you're meant to receive it. Um, let's see. This message is intended to guide you within so that you do not go without. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will mention signs and gender throughout the reading, but energy is fluid. He could be a she, she could be a he, the roles could be reversed. You should only take the messages that resonate with you. So the first card is the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit. Wow. Four of Pentacles and the Hermit. I feel like someone right now is really beginning to learn about um, their, I'm hearing the term attachment style. Someone is with the Hermit here. Someone could also be the type to really avoid people or situations. Um, it, it could be like a people pleasing kind of energy. This could be like some type of limited thinking, like a scarcity or poverty mindset even. But someone with the hermit is choosing to maybe isolate or have a, a moment for some solitude for growth. I feel like with the four of pentacles, that also could be a person that's very frugal or they don't feel like they have a lot or yeah, because if you like, I'm seeing like the three of pentacles, the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles, it's almost like someone here has been working to accumulate something, maybe wealth for themselves or whatever. And when they get sort of to a comfortable spot, it's like they, they're, they're afraid to give anything out. Um, this could be somebody here is not really, you know, like we call a cheerful or generous giver. Um, and it's because of a fear of like being without this could even be in terms of love. Like somebody is afraid to really give love out, maybe afraid to like be in love, even because they're somebody is always wondering what are they going to do if something fails? There's a fear of failure. What am I going to do if, if that person leaves me? Or what am I going to do if, if I don't have this money? How are people going to see me? You know, it's that type of energy here. Yeah, the magician. Somebody here's the king of wands. And the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, you have a person here who is actually like a natural born leader, the king of wands. But this person is not receiving their return on any of their investments because they're not giving. Somebody here could possibly break a cycle of being restricted if they were to start giving. That, that's, that's what's here. It's like somebody needs to learn how to have more gratitude and be more generous. Because something with like the the laws of, of karma is off here. Somebody somebody is a taker. You know, and it may and they may not even notice it. Somebody has is positioned, I said position. Well, it could be someone's current position, but someone is conditioned to hoard things instead of giving things out because they are afraid to be without. See, you know, people say, you know, scared money doesn't make money. You won't gain things in life if you never give anything. Yeah, the four of cups. Somebody here is missing opportunities. But the four of cups in the reverse is someone has possibly missed an opportunity already and they're beginning now to see that they need to make some kind of change because the seven of pentacles is in the reverse. This is like somebody is putting a lot of work into something and waiting for something to come into fruition and it's not coming. I feel like somebody here is missing an opportunity. You have the empress here. Somebody is possibly... Had they missed an opportunity with an empress or they fear they may miss an opportunity with an empress if they don't learn how to understand reciprocity. They don't start giving. You have to have the chariot card. Yeah, so somebody wants to move forward, but this is going to take some kind of willpower and determination. Somebody's going to have to learn 
to be more um, intentional and more proactive. This is, you know, a person that's just kind of sitting around thinking that something is going to come to them. And no, it's not. Yeah, here's the emperor. So this is the Knight of Wands. underneath the hermit somebody is like yeah it, there is um this is like an ego death because what somebody is learning is that they're holding on to the past or holding a grudge they could even be a little like mean or arrogant or cold this person is not able to manifest as a divine masculine that's this is the problem Yeah, somebody has to learn how to follow their heart. That's the Knight of Cups. The lovers is in the reverse. See, someone is missing an opportunity in love right now because they didn't they didn't give equally. There was there wasn't enough reciprocity here. The lovers is in the reverse, and the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Something here is not working out the way that someone had hoped that it would because this person, either this is a past person that missed an opportunity or someone in your life now is about to miss an opportunity because this person, they don't know how to actually follow their heart. This person is too frugal. They're, they're, they're too like stuck in their ways. This is a very like conservative, possessive type of energy. They want to be seen a certain way. Um, this is something I saw the other day and it really stuck out. And keep in mind, you know, it, it could be either gender, but, and I said this, I even watched a movie the other day called The Idea of You. This is when you meet people and they, they like the idea of you. What was it I read? I saw somebody said, some men, they only want, don't marry a man who wants just a wife, marry a man who wants to be a husband. This is giving me the type of energy where somebody is, in overly enthused with the idea of being with a person or having like a certain title or a certain lifestyle, but they don't understand what is really required to have it, or they are refusing to put in the work to have it. This is like somebody, I want to be rich, but you know, you're not waking up at four o'clock in the morning, you know, being the first person to get to the worm and actually taking the risk and putting in the work. You want to be married, but is this just because you want more income in the household or what? Like someone here doesn't really know. I, I feel they haven't discovered why they actually want something. And I'm not picking up like a real bad vibe or energy. This feels like something here of a person who has, like I said, outdated beliefs like this is the kind of person that feels like as long as I make money and I look good whether this is a man or a woman then I should be able to get what I want someone doesn't understand that you have to be generous you have to have a good heart you have to do things and, and have gratitude for whatever you have you know what I'm saying it's, it's something here it is a bit superficial But again, I feel like it has to do with possibly like someone's conditioning, their upbringing. You know, a lot of people, if this is, you know, a connection that some of you are in, there's a disconnect when it comes to gender roles. Somebody feels like as long as they do this, then you should have a certain type of output or you should respect them a certain way. But it's like they're not giving you what you need. Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, and you're not you're not falling for that because you're the high priestess upright. You're you already know, like you're in your higher self. You're tapped in, you're the divine feminine. You have this inner knowing. Your intuition is on point. You can look at somebody and tell the nine of pentacles is here. Most likely that means that you already you're very secure and abundant on your own. Wow, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. But here's the queen of cups in reverse. I'm glad I looked at the bottom of the deck. So this is for some of you, you're in like this high priestess energy. If you're the divine feminine energy, 
you're self-sufficient and abundant. You're doing your own thing. You know how to make yourself happy. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Um, you could already have wealth on your own or be doing very, very well for yourself. It definitely shows a lot of stability and security, but the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. Your emotional needs are not being met. Because there's a connection here that is imbalanced. Somebody, like I said, they like the idea of you. You know, oh, that person, they're attractive, they're spiritual, they make great money, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, okay, but what are you doing? Because this is the kind of person who has a mindset that they just need to show up. And see, you have here the eight of wands, the six of swords, and the star. Some of you, you're, you're headed to something really, really big. And I feel strongly for some... This is someone that's in your life right now. They're about to miss an opportunity with you if they don't quickly do a 180. And for some of you, this is someone from your past that did not recognize that you were on the path to becoming this high priestess, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. And now this person is realizing that this superficial way of thinking and them not giving to you in the way that they should have and the way that you deserve is the reason why now... They're not in your life. For some of you, the magician and the empress here, you've manifested a new master. For many of you, this is a past energy. You've manifested someone new in your life that's the king of wands, knight of cups. This is a natural born leader here that wants to follow their heart and make things happen with you. Yeah, it's two different masculines out here. You have this King of Wands out here and this Emperor. I mean, it could be the same person. But I just feel that for some of you, honestly, if you're the Divine Feminine watching, coming out as High Priest is Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, you may travel a lot. The Star, you may travel a lot for work. And I feel like you have just a very like fulfilling type of life at this point. You're seizing all of these different opportunities. I feel like you have a lot of different masculines that are trying very hard right now to hang on to your energy or you're even attracting more people and they carry this energy of like the king of wands or the emperor like they're established and they're powerful but they're coming towards you looking at what they see on the surface many of these people they see nine of pentacles ten of pentacles but they don't know that you're a high priestess that's what it is they see the rewards and for some of you they see you receiving some kind of recognition they don't know about your hardship. They don't know what it took for you to reach this type of high vibrational way of thinking and living. So, yeah, you're vibing really, really high and attracting a lot of people. And it lo they look on surface like they would match you. But the truth is, some of these people, even if they are the emperor, the king ones, these could be, you know, in entrepreneurs business people or whatever but on the inside they're like the four of pentacles they have a poverty mindset or a scarcity mindset they're hoarders they want to hold on to everything divine feminine doesn't have to hold on to anything because you know you can always create what you want these are the type of people who have gotten wealth and other things through luck you know through luck or doing things that could even be unethical that's not where you are, you're not, you, you manifest things because you are, you carry the energy of a high priestess. You have an inner knowing and you do things that are fair and just, you have morals and values. Yeah. You have her, the sun in the reverse. See four of cups. Somebody here wants to possess you. They want to hold on to you and move forward and have control. Somebody wants to control the chariot. Because they want to hold on to you and, and be possessive, but with the sun in the reverse, this is this is this doesn't bring you joy. Yeah, the three of swords. That's not gonna make you happy. And this person could be acting like this because they're dealing with some type of heartbreak or, or pain or sorrow that they haven't healed from. Hurt people, hurt people. This person, yeah. There's the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, the page of wands. So this is a hermit. The knight of wands and the page of wands. It's a very like young, sort of immature type of energy. Somebody is trying to 
come out of hermit mode. This person though, mm, it's a very odd energy. Well, this person has two sides to them. Um, for some of you, this person, they seem like the type, like they like to be in hermit mode. But it's something about this person. They also like attention. The Knight of Wands is in the reverse. The Knight of Wands in the reverse is someone who is a daredevil. They're reckless. And then you have the Page of Wands. This person comes up with these, these ideas. They're impulsive. They, they will quickly come up with these creative ideas and they're like very free spirited. And maybe this person needs to actually go within for some soul searching. This person is not that grounded. That's what it is. They're not as grounded as they should be. The three of wands. Ooh. So the magician, emperor, and the three of wands. You're manifesting the emperor though. The divine masculine. The person that can bring you everything that you need, that you want, and that you desire. Somebody that can really match you. As the, the empress isn't out here yet, but as the high priestess, you rule like the subconscious, the inner knowing, the intuition. But this emperor that's coming in is someone who is established. They can protect, they can provide, they're powerful, they're they're a real leader. You know, they, they're a great planner. All of the, you have a very like immature type of energy around. Also, there's somebody from your past that's like in regret. Some of you right now, you haven't met your person. You're manifesting them. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Wow. Or I mean, or it could be this person, but there's something that they need to recognize. The King of Wands is here with the Knight of Cups, and here's the Ace of Wands. You know what this feels like? It feels like as soon as you start manifesting somebody new, someone in your life is going to quickly like want to show their romantic side and, and clean up their act and go through this spiritual awakening and they may come in offering you this passion and new beginning. Hmm. Yeah, the hangman is in the reverse here. Be careful because somebody may do this and it's only to hold you back. The hangman in the reverse here with the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that's still very uncertain of things. They're still not actually that focused. This person hasn't come. Somebody is going to pretend that they surrendered their ego or something like that to try and get in your good grace. They haven't. They just know that you've manifested a true divine masculine. Yeah, three of pentacles is here. See, you're meant to be working with your person. Here's the, the eight of pentacles. Three of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. You got the nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. See, the high priestess, you know that whoever you manifest is a person that you have to be able to work with. You and this person are supposed to be working together and achieving like things together, co-creating co-managing businesses and things like that. So you can't work with a person that doesn't have the same morals and values as you are as a high priestess. If somebody doesn't understand your life or your lifestyle as a high priestess, they're spiritually immature. It's not going to work. We've had a few readings about that lately. It's not going to work. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. You, you might as well walk away from this because they're just not going to understand. Here's the Knight of Swords. And the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody is just not on your level spiritually. It doesn't matter how much money they have or how much money they don't have. Somebody just is not equally yoked with you spiritually. And you're coming out as the high priestess. You're not even coming out as the empress. So you're extremely tapped into your intuition. Your intuition allows you to manifest things. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody will absolutely like stifle your growth because of their inability to understand how to manifest. Somebody here doesn't know how to manifest. 
because they're greedy, they're possessive, they're controlling, they're stuck in their ways, they have some kind of poverty or scarcity mindset, but at the same time, they want to be respected, they want attention, they want to be validated. This is someone that will get respect and validation because they're with you, not because of what they bring to the table, but because of what you bring to the table. Yeah, you have here the Ten of Swords in the reverse. It's time for you to end a cycle with somebody. It's time for it to be over so that you can finally go into the Four of Swords. You need a, a break. You, you need to release this person or this situation because it's not, it's just not in alignment. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is you walking away from what doesn't serve you. And here's the Three of Cups here and the Death card in the reverse. And the Ace of Swords in the reverse. I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords is upright. Hmm. So what's coming in is an ending. It's an inevitable ending too. And it's going to... I feel like put you on a brand new path. Some of you may have to, you may block a person. Hmm. I feel like something is about to change too with the three of, um, the three of cups and this death card in the reverse. I feel like for some of you, you're like going through this purging process or this like shift, this change, this rebirth. And you're about to find yourself in a totally different like group. Some of you are about to be like with your soul family. These people that have been chosen as your, your family that you have no control over, people who have been friends that you've outgrown, you're about to find yourself in a totally different community. So if you, especially if you are, you know, manifesting love, you don't have to worry about it. I don't think you're going to find somebody that's in the space and place where you're going, where your higher self is leading you. Some of you, you it's really time for you to be with your divine counterpart. And that person has to be just as special and unique as you. You don't have to do the same thing, but they have to at least be in support of the movement that you're on right now. Some of you have a really big purpose. I mean, the high priestess is here with the three of pentacles. This is a lot of collaborations. Eight of pentacles is something that you do for work. You, somebody out here, you live and you work as like a high priestess. You could be a light worker, a healer or whatever, but you're a boss. In your world, you're a boss. You need somebody that is going to match that and be able to support you. Someone out here still has not even truly discovered what self-love is or they don't, this is the kind of person that they, they don't believe in shadow work or healing or anything. But they want all of this respect. But it's like you want respect and you don't even know who you are. This is someone who wants to hide behind a mask. And, and they want you to like shield them and make them look good because they don't really know who they are or something like that. This person is emotionally unavailable. Like they have a lot of repressed emotions like some type of trauma where they're, they're just this person just they're not in their north node okay they're not they're not in their purpose or their calling just yet now this person very well could suddenly go through some type of ego death and maybe they will become a match for you but i feel like what has happened right now for many of you you've manifested a new person and this immature person they can sense it and they're really like it's kind of putting the fire underneath them to really get it together so that they don't miss an opportunity with you. For some of you, it's just simply you're opening your energy up. You're not holding on to this person because you're seeing that you're not aligned. As soon as you make up in your mind that you're not equally yoked with somebody, as a divine feminine, the universe is going to start sending in people to you. And I feel like for some of you, you've opened yourself up energetically to more options and more opportunities and offers. And that's what's coming. And this person could still be in your life, but it's like they now are going to have to compete with everything else that the divine is sending you because they're showing that they're not quite ready. And for some of you, 
the moment that you manifest someone, especially in the physical in your life, this person, you're going to start seeing them like really, really picking everything up, trying to be the best, right? Because whoever this is, somebody is very afraid to actually lose you. But it's like, are you afraid enough to get your, your stuff together though? Is the question. <laughs> And for some of you, someone has already, they've lost you. And they may be trying to come back in like, you know, I'm spiritual. I'm awakened and aware now. They just want to still be attached to you. Just be careful because it feels like a lot of you will of fortune. A lot of people want to be attached to you because you have really great karma coming in. It's a time of a lot of fortune. For some of you, even fame. A lot of expansion is coming. Here's the nine of swords. People are very worried right now. And feeling guilty that, you know, they let you go or they can't be. Yeah, there's a page of swords. Someone is watching you in regret. And they're not happy about the fact that you're, you're going towards all of this growth and expansion and they're not included. This is definitely a past energy. And you could have someone around you right now that is starting to be afraid that they're not going to be able to go with you either. Yeah, here's someone. Someone feels like their dream, the idea of them being with you has been shattered. Mm -hmm. That's the page of cups in the reverse. Somebody has to work on like their inner child. Someone, their refusal to heal their inner child issues and grow is the reason why they are something of your past. You're a high priestess. You can't deal with somebody that's a page of cups in the reverse. Someone who their creativity is blocked. They're immature. They haven't healed their shadow side. There's nothing. You, this person would just be a project. There's nothing you can do with them. Justice. Exactly. A decision has to be made. And I feel like the decision here is the five of pentacles. The decision is you're choosing to leave somebody out in the cold. You're going to have to reject this offer, turn your back. Um, yeah, because this justice is like cause and effect. If you take on this situation with this person, it's going to stop you from your expansion. Some it's like a very clear halt. Who goes there? Like, don't, don't, don't move forward in this situation. Don't because it's gonna block you. Yeah, King of Swords here in the reverse. This is somebody very cold, calculated. They're extremely controlling. They want power, but it's a distorted energy. They want power because they don't know how to control themselves. And if you get with this person, what they're going to do is make you feel like the Five of Cups. They're going to start to make you feel disappointed and in grief. And you don't have time to, to be like that. Because here now, finally, we see the Empress. This is some type of test coming in that can easily overwhelm you with, with guilt, shame, disappointment, and everything else. And it's going to stop you from creating this life as a high priestess. That's going into all of this wealth and abundance. Somebody is for sure going to try to come in like they, they're they changed and they're ready for things to, to move forward with you and blah, blah, blah. No, this person sees that you are passionately going towards a life as a star. That's what they see. So they, they want to be a part of it. Now, some of you have a person right now. They're not quite where you want them or need them to be, but if it looks like they are working on it. But I would just say at this point, what would be best for many of you, especially if you're the divine feminine, is to keep on manifesting whoever. Don't, don't assume that just because someone is in your life or was in your life that that's your person. You may not have even met your person just yet. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You're walking away and letting go, though. Some of you now, you're choosing to focus on your own self-discovery. And therefore, you're walking away from any and everything that doesn't align with who and what you are discovering about yourself. Cold, calculated, narcissistic, you know, um, childish, stuck in the matrix. That's not the energy of a divine feminine high priestess. Here's the magician card with the eight of cups. Yeah, you're abandoning everything so that you can step fully into your power and manifest what you want. 
the sun, dang. The strength here, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, yeah. You're pulling through all with all of your strength, your might, and your power to get out of some type of restrictive situation so that you can move forward and away from this disappointment. You're tired of being disappointed by somebody or just something. Eight of Cups, the decision has been made. You're walking away. You're manifesting wish fulfillment. And you've now finally found the strength to just put something down. You're tired of being restricted. Something or someone is restricting you. Their circumstances or conditions, their childhood problems or whatever, none of that is your problem. This is a situation where you will be left to try and pour from, and this person will have you pouring until your cup goes empty. Knight of Pentacles, because they don't understand that they need to heal. This isn't your project, Four of Pentacles. Don't try to hold on to this person, because here you are, the Three of Cups. You're going towards the Ten of Pentacles. So this, you're going to have to sacrifice this energy because it's creating conflict, chaos, and tension in your life when you're trying to go towards the Ten of Cups. Somebody can't really deal with your confidence either. The Knight of Swords. Or somebody is very drawn to you being super confident, but they rush in. And I don't feel like they come in matching you. They don't come in bringing you what you need. Yeah, they rush in to disappoint you. <laughs> they rush in only to disappoint you. Or this person rushes in each time they're they're feeling let down or isolated. Whenever they don't feel you energetically, they rush in. Yeah, you have to be careful with this energy. This is some type of energy vampire that's still trying to connect with you. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, don't do it. You have five, five, five here. You have a major change coming. And it's leading you to the star. Six of swords, six of cups. You have to move away from the past and fully heal from it with the hermit. There is some soul searching that you need to take place. That needs to take place here. Where you really, really revisit some things from the past and make the final decision to move on from it for good. So that you can actually go into the two of cups. Like a real partnership with someone. Whether it's business, romantic, or both. But there is something about your past that if you were to look closely at it or this past relationship, you should see that it is absolutely safe and best that you move on from this situation. Or even if you're dealing with someone now, maybe there was some kind of past life karma that you needed to um, wrap up with this person. But just understand once you've paid your karmic debts with a situation, it's okay for you to move on from it. It feels like somebody here, like you've learned lessons from people and they're trying to stick around past their expiration date. It's like, this is over. I learned what I needed to learn. You learned what you needed to learn. And now it's time for you to move on. Somebody doesn't want to move on. Some of you, nobody ever wants to move on from you because of your strong, like this presence that you have, this ability to manifest wealth and all of these great things. Nobody wants to leave you alone, but you're going to have to like force these people out of your energy. Because they're not aligned with your destiny. They're not. And a lot of these people, they know that you're destined for greatness. And it's it's sort of like inspiring them to go on their own spiritual journey. But they may not be able to catch up with you in time. And that's okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I really hope that this gave you a bit of clarity and insight about... Um, a situation remember to always go within so that you never go without please like comment subscribe and share and i'll catch you on the next one bye